me is Sophia. Hopefully you can hear me. This is Yoga. I am on part two of Red Rock Ride. Uh, it's kind of technically a second run because good old technology didn't work the first time. So. on Confessions of Yoga the Biker. So I am going out for a quick ride, possibly, probably to Red Rock. Oh, uh, I caught it, it, I caught it. Yo, I don't know, so we'll see. It's a women's tea and coffee group. <laughs> you can hear me this is yoga i am on part two of red rock ride uh it's kind of technically a second run because good old technology didn't work the first time so i'm hoping this time the camera actually records i see that it's blinking i'm hoping that you can hear me and yeah so this will be my technically second run of me surviving Red Rock on my ZX6R. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, so let's get started. So with Red Rock, it's about 13 miles. Uh, as you can see, you can see some of the Joshua trees um, here in the Mojave Desert there. They're kind of dead. The trees that you can see now are dying because of like disease that's out here. So poor trees, the ones that you can kind of see out here. When we went to California and was driving through the Mojave Desert to get to the National Joshua Tree Park, those were much larger and unfortunately you can see a section where the trees did die, uh, die and got burned because it's so dry. So once they die, that's pretty much it. It takes <clears throat> it takes about a hundred years just to get to like a small type tree. I bought a Joshua tree uh, plant to eventually start growing and goodness I have to be a hundred years old so I would have to plant it somewhere that my family afterwards can see because I'm pushing so unless I'm about to be 140 uh, to see this tree grow to its full of um, uh, full maturation of itself uh, yeah but anyway Red Rock. So this area is where I took photos for my maternity shoot. It was fun. Um, so I was taking the photos, but like being in the elements that day because we started late it was hot and i was i think i was probably about eight and a half months pregnant at that point so yeah it was a lot going on because it was i took pictures here and i had i think two costume changes or maternity changes okay, I'm just gonna thank you i had about two maternity changes i had a blue long flowing dress that was cool i'll show that picture and then i had um my of course moto and yoga so i had uh, a couple moto shots and then i had some yoga shots so that was fun it was fun but hot like i said um my, my significant other mr 20 was he was he was to take the photos but he was happy when the photo shoot was over because <laughs> it was so long so I was like just in case if Lizzie is the only child I would love to have one more but if she is the only child uh, I wanted to get as many photos as possible and this would be my one and only maternity shoot 
Because if I have another one, I definitely wouldn't do all of what I did for the, for the second child, unfortunately. The second and after four kids, they never get the same treatment as the first kid. But yeah, I definitely would not do what I did the first time with the maternity shoe. So coming out here is like similar to driving Blood Mountain out in Georgia as far as like the different little twists and turns um, it's definitely not Blood Mountain but eh, it, it'll do it's a cool little spot to get a little bike run in like I said it's 13 miles uh, it's one way so if you can kind of see the uh, in the middle you can kind of see as far as that is two vehicles can drive on the road. Like I typically stay on the left hand side because I want to pass. So I'm not driving too slow. You got the Audi right here. Nice and bright red. Reminds me of Siren. Alright, I spy an R8. This ride is much more comfortable than it was yesterday uh, because, as I said the first time, which did not record, and I'm hoping it's recording this time because it's not. I'm not doing a third run. I got to definitely do a third run out here, but I wouldn't record it. Like it is what it is at this point. It's just it's not meant to record. But uh, I was saying like my cornering uh, it could definitely be improved I don't ride as often as I would like to ride I ride very infrequent so as I was talking to some of the ladies yesterday in the coffee tea meetup um, as I had said in the vlog about being a mom and a rider that I'm technically an intermediate rider but I feel still like a beginner rider like I would call myself a uh, advanced beginner rider because I don't get to ride as often as I would like to so like some techniques that I would like to work on is cornering and like this would definitely be a good spot to like get some cornering in get over to the right a little because coming around this corner oh seems like some of the rocks are finally moved a little like I don't know what's going on I don't know if people get too close to the edge so like the rocks are on the edges and so if you come in you can technically wipe yourself out because there's rocks on the sides no it's not trying to fall so yeah that's a no-go that was one of the areas over there to the left that i did some photos for the moto but like here would be like a uh, kind of remind well you can see some of the rocks wiped out my rocks but as you saw the sign it said uh you turn at 15 so this like these little sections right here reminds me of blood mountain because it's about three corners where it's a tight u-turn and you've definitely seen some uh, signs that said like rest in peace because people came in too quick too hot and went over the edge and it's no longer with us so that's why for myself as i said i feel i'm still kind of like a advanced beginner rider because I don't ride as often as I would like to. Uh, for one of the years of my four years that I've been licensed, I was pregnant. So I did get a little ride again. I probably throw a picture of my last official ride before I had really popped. Um, I was with 20 and it was out to Red Rock, but it wasn't the scenic route as far as this part. 